Hello again, welcome back to my channel, Adjus Out and About. Uh, two days ago I did a British sitcom countdown, the top 20. It proved so popular that I'm now having to include an extra 10 spaces. People are asking me, where's this one, where's that one? And I was like, well I couldn't fit them in. So, by popular demand, I'm creating an extra 10. So it's going to be the top 30. And even then it probably won't be enough. But... I'm doing what I can, so uh, another 10 are coming up, stay tuned, get comfy, and I'll see you shortly. At number 30, bless this house, running from 1971 to 1976 for 65 episodes, the show followed the lives of the Abbas family, a normal 70s suburban family. Sid James stars as the put-upon husband, Sidney, who always ends up coming up short against his family. Also starring in Bless This House were Diana Coupland and the children Sally Jason and Robert Stewart. There was also a film spin-off in 1972. Number 29, Man About the House. Running from 1973 to 1976, this precursor to George and Mildred seems horribly dated now, even down to the way it was filmed and the fashions that were worn. The series was about a young man, Richard O'Sullivan, moving in with two young women, played by Paula Wilcox and Sally Tomset. Their landlords lived downstairs, George and Mildred. Mildred with her desires to live her life, and George, who has already given up on his, the original Mr Boring. At number 28, Desmond's. Running from 1989 to 1994, Desmond's followed the life of a Guyanese barbershop in Peckham. Norman Beaton starred as Desmond, who would let his shop be used as a meeting place for characters from the local community. Those being lovable loser, Port Pie, mature Ghanaian student, Matthew, and local Spiv, Lee. Desmond dreamed of retiring back to Guyana and his character was in the process of going home when in 1994 Beaton collapsed from a heart attack at the airport and passed away at just 60 years old. At 27, not going out. This programme has the only honour of being the only show on our countdown that is still running. And it's the longest running sitcom on the BBC beyond the last of the summer wine as it started in 2006. The series started with a work shy ice cream man called Lee living with an American flatmate, Kate. That didn't last long before he was living with his friend's sister, Lucy, to create a will-they-won't-they they scenario. Spoiler alert, they did. They ended up having three kids. At 26, last of the summer wine. Oh yes, it had to be included on there, just for how long it had run. From 1973 to 2010 and the staggering 295 episodes making it the longest running sitcom in the world it follows the lives of three old age pensioners who act like children and in more and more ludicrous situations it starred Peter Salis and Bill Owen and they were often accompanied by the likes of Michael Aldridge, Brian Wilde or Michael Bates it was set in Home Firth in Yorkshire. And it's a very, very gentle comedy. Not the funniest by any stretch, but just for the uh, longevity that it ran, it's got to be in the countdown. 25. Game On. Game On was a terrific sitcom that ran between 1995 and 1998, although rarely even mentioned or repeated now. The first series was phenomenal with Ben Chaplin playing agoraphobic fantasist Matthew, while living with his flatmates Mandy, played by Samantha Janus, and wimpy banker Martin. The show would centre mainly on Matthew bullying the others and trying to find ludicrous ways of killing time in the flat he could never leave. At 24, The Good Life. Running from 1975 to 1978, this series followed the midlife crisis of Tom Good, played by Richard Bryars, who packs in his job in a plastics factory to become self-sufficient, 
much to the annoyance of his neighbours Margot and Jerry, who when they look out of their window see pigs and chickens in the back garden. At 23, the fall and rise of Reginald Perrin. Running from 1976 to 1979, this series charted the breakdown of Reggie Perrin, a man who cracks under the pointlessness of his job at Sunshine Desserts. It is a bizarre series and too much for me to actually explain, but Reggie lurches from one job to another, often employing people that he had worked with before at Sunshine Desserts who were just as lost as he was. I fully recommend that you give this series a watch. At 22, keeping up appearances. Coffee in 10 Elizabeth. Running from 1990 to 1995, this show followed the insufferable Hyacinth Bucket, played by Patricia Routledge, although she insisted on being called Bouquet, a middle-aged, middle-class woman who had aspirations to be on the highest social scale. The show centres on her making her husband's life a misery, as well as her neighbours. Hyacinth, though, is from a poor background, and you warm more towards her sisters, Daisy and Rose, who live in a council house with Daisy's slob husband, Onslow, and their senile father. At 21, a low, a low. Another Croft and Lloyd vehicle running from 1982 to 1992 followed cafe owner René Artois, a French resistance agent in occupied France. Gordon Kay is brilliant as René, although the French accents aren't great, it is still a great show. René, despite being large and balding, is irresistible to most of the women in the town. René, his wife and his staff must entertain the Germans every night, and although you were supposed to hate the Nazis, you couldn't hate characters such as Gruber, who give the show an extra dimension. A great show full of farce, and you will really enjoy it. Right then everyone, that's been my uh, extra countdown of British sitcoms. I know there's a few on there that, you know, never made the grade and I'm sorry, look. Um, but if you've loved what I've done here, let me know if you want me to do something like this again and, you know, I can do that. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video and um, if you like what you've seen, please, you know, hit me a subscribe give me a like, give me a comment, it's always much appreciated, um, I do enjoy putting these videos together for everyone, so if you like it, please drop me a subscribe, it's the greatest compliment you could give me, okay, so um, thank you very much, and I will see you on the next one, bye for now.